Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for another Pokemon Sword and Shield rain battle? Well, here we are. We are hopping in right now. Incineroar. This is my first Incineroar encounter in this game. Oh, crap. I don't know what he can do, but I know that a lot of people don't like him. So, uh, I know a lot of people complain about him. So, we're going to do the Grimmsnarl lead for a Thunder Wave because I don't even know what this dude can do to me. Then we definitely need a Rotom Heat in there for this. Corviknight and Aegislash. And then I think we want Gastrodon in the back. Because Gastrodon in the back. I have uh, Storm Drain for the Rotom Wash. And then I'm pretty sure... Don't I have Ice Beam? This isn't Hydreigon or whatever. Uh, Dragon type. Oh, man, I didn't even know. I'm stupid. But I, I definitely want Gastrodon. Just even for the T-Tar, it'll do well for the T-Tar. I should not have even mentioned I don't know a Hydreigon. If, yeah, I'm stupid. Uh, That's okay, though. <laughs> you guys are here for me, right? Not for the gameplay. You guys are here for me. Uh, and Then do we... I think we want Dragapult. I mean, Dragapult's a big, hefty boy. Yeah, Dragapult's a big, hefty boy. He's a Salt Vested. For sure, for Sheezy, Assault Vested, he's ready to take a slap. He can take a hit, and he'll just hit you way harder. So, wow, that's that's a nice player card you got there. That is Gwindy11. Is that? Yeah, that's an interesting player card for sure. Let's see what he's bringing. Oh, my goodness, look at this. That's a well-dressed man. Incineroar and Corviknight on the field. Shiny Incineroar. Okay. Okay, going with your bad self, with your shiny Incineroar. So now, Intimidate. Okay, I can see how that it can be annoying to most. What's the Corviknight have? Does the Corviknight have Mirror Armor? Or does it... Wait, no, it doesn't have Pressure, right? Because I would have seen Pressure right there. So, then we're going to... We're going to Trick. Not Trick, but Thunderbolt. I think we just... Easy play here. Thunder Wave the Incineroar and T-Bolt the Corviknight, right? We could trick the Corviknight. Ooh, we might want to trick the Corviknight because what, I feel like he's going to have leftovers or a Rocky Helmet. Let's just trick the Corviknight first and see what happens. Let's just do that. He's going to use Fake Out on who? So Fake Out goes before my Thunder Wave. That is very annoying. I don't like that at all that that happens. So, I, so yeah, okay, perfect. I got leftovers, and he got a choice scarf. So Grimstar was living this turn. Perfect. Oh, this is actually just perfect. So he's stuck in Iron Head now. So now I can go for the Thunder Wave on. Actually, do I even need to do that? Let's see here. He has the Iron Head here. I can just switch here to Dragapult, right? I'm going to switch to Dragapult here. Or, not Dragapult, Gastrodon here. Uh, because I don't want Grimstar to go down. I don't really... I mean, I, I obviously want screens, but I don't necessarily need screens. And then I'm just going to Thunderbolt into the Corviknight slot. I don't know what Incineroar does, though. I know everyone complains about Incineroar, but I don't know what he does. But I want my Grimstar to stay alive. And I know if I Thunder Wave the Incineroar this round, for when I has a chance of missing, and then two, the Corviknight will definitely just take him out. Don't want that. Please, Para. No para. This is gonna head into the Gastrodon now, which is not taking any damage at all. Because my Gastrodon's a thick boy, darkest lariat. I feel like that sounds like it's gonna hurt. You oh, okay, that was a crit. I was gonna say, geez, dude, there's no way that just did that much damage. Okay, so we kinda okay, we kinda got a kinda got an idea what's going on here. So now we're gonna skull scald into this Incineroar spot. Incineroar is dark and fire, right? He's dark. Dark and fire, yes. Okay, and then do we just T bolt and get into the Corviknight slot? I feel like we do. Or, oh, dude, I don't know. My freaking typing's off the top of my head. I feel like is dark super effective on ghost or is ghost super effective on dark? I feel like dark is the super dark is the super effective move, right? On ghost, dark is super effective on ghost. That's right. Okay, so okay, so he's switching now. Good play on him because he knew I was gonna scold into that slot. I'm glad I didn't just, uh, I was thinking about Volt Switching into Dragapult, but I don't want to take a Darkest Lariat from that. Especially if it's super effective, my Dragapult would have went down. And now this is a good turn for me. Maybe we can get the Burn on Rotom just for free damage. 
Not quite. Dude, you know what's great? That was... I mean, that was more damage than I thought it was going to be. Now, here's the thing. I feel like this Rotom Wash is choice. Choice Scarf. That or the other Rotom Wash that I've seen is one that's using Nasty Plot. I know it doesn't have leftovers. There's no way it has like an Assault Vest or anything like that. I wonder why he's going into T-Tar here. Because I just demolish you. I just demolish a T-Tar here with Gastrodon. I wonder why he would do that. Do we... Here's the thing. Do we Earth Power? Yeah, we go for the Earth Power. Yeah, we go for the Earth Power for sure. And then I save... I feel like I save my Dynamax for Dragapult. We can do Volt Switch. Let's do a Volt Switch. No, nah, because I don't want... I don't want Dragapult to come out just yet. Actually, I think I do. No, because that freaking... I don't want Dragon Bolt to come out just yet because that Incineroar is still alive in the back. So he's going to Dynamax. I'm feeling the T-Tar. So I feel like I should have double up. Should have doubled up in that slot. I'm definitely glad I didn't Volt Switch into Dragapult though. Because just in case, like, for some reason this hit goes into him and it knocks him out. Don't need that happening. So Rotom, I feel like should... My Rotom, I hope out speeds here so I can just get some damage off. Rotomy's Thunderbolt, yes. Okay, so I still outspeed, so I don't think he's using... Um, oh, boy. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't even know that I have Storm Drain. <laughs> That's a yikes, dude. Holy cow. What was this boy thinking? Next one's going to go into my Rotom. I mean... What? what? Did I just get a free win? What was... Maybe, okay, I've, okay, I can see why... Because if he didn't know I had Storm Drain, maybe that's why he didn't put that into the Rotom slot. Jeez, that does nothing. Is this boy Assault Vested? Rotom is living. Dude, that did not work out for this jet at all. Got my lefties from Corviknight. Thank you. Hashtag thank you, Corviknight, for a good time. And now this guy, he doesn't know what to do, obviously. He is in trouble. I feel like we kind of just recover on Gashadon here. Just, there's no sense in going any lower health. He's probably going to max Quake into me again. Yeah, I feel like this is the play. And then we just thunder, we just Thunderbolt into this Rotom slot. Knock him out. Gastrodon gets fully healed. And just waste another turn. Oh, so he's outspeeding me this time. So we were speed tied, right? Yeah, we were speed tied there. Okay, so he knocked me out. That's fine. He's now, I'm going to come out with Grim Snarl. Right, because my Grimstar didn't go down, did it? No, I switched out my Grimstar for Gastrodon. So Incineroar's coming out. Oh, he's going to use Fake Out, though. He's going to use either Fake Out, or if I go into a Dragon Ball, he's going to use Darkest Lariat. Which is all annoying things. So he's going to Max Quake into the Gastrodon slot. I'm really glad I recovered that slot here, because this is... Yeah, brings me down to the yellow. Don't want that. Don't want to be in the yellow. So what are they? They got their special defense risen. Oh, that's even worse for me because my Dragon Pulse is a special attacker. So I don't like that at all. Do I do something crazy here? And do I just Dynamax the Gastrodon? I wonder if I do that. I just hate that this boy knows Fake Out. But it kind of makes me just want to actually go into Dragon Pulse Dynamax Solar Beam. Because he can't Fake Out me. And if I Dynamax... I'll be going first. Yeah, that's, this is the play. This is the play right here. Because he can't use Fake Out on me. If I'm Dynamax and I'm a Salt Vest, the Darkest Lariat isn't going to be doing all that much to me. So now we can just Scald into this Incineroar slot. And then we can uh, Max Overgrowth into this T-Tar slot. So that's the play. I do believe. The only reason why I'm not going out with Grim Snarl here is because he would just fake out the Grim Snarl with Incineroar and then just get a free free knockout on me. And I don't want him to have a free knockout on me, obviously. So let's just see what happens here. My poor Grim Snarl took a lot of damage. Took a lot of damage up front. My Rotom's gone. So he has Rotom, Titar, and Incineroar left. So what can I do here? So I want to keep my Gastrodon alive. I mean my Gastrodon 
kind of bodies this whole team, right? I mean, not bodies, but my Gastrodon, like, doesn't doesn't get damaged by this team. The only thing is this Gastrodon goes last. So, if there was a case where I'm in a 1v whatever scenario with Gastrodon, he's just going to be double up then, too. And I'm just going to have to use a lot of recovers. And I don't know if that's going to end well for me. So, especially with Darkest Lariat, that seems like a pretty pretty big move here. So, he's going to use the Fake Out on Gastrodon. That is fine by me. That means he didn't use Darkest Lariat on my Dragapult. And I like that actually a lot. And now I'm using Max Overgrowth into his T-Tar slot, which is not going to... Not going to do anything. What is this T-Tar? What is this thing? Holy crap. Gastrodon flinched. Dragapult buffeted by the storm. Dude, what is this? What is this T-Tar right now? I don't even know. I mean, I know it had a special defense boost, but did it have that big of a special defense boost? And now I just gave them max overgrowth. I was thinking T-Tar was going to be taking way more damage than what he just did. On a Dynamax move, that's all the damage I did. Something doesn't seem... What boost does this have? It only has a plus two special defense. I don't have any drops. Dang, dude. That is actually wild. That is actually insanely wild. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to Scald into the Incineroar slot. And then we're going to... Dang, dude. Okay, I guess we just max Wormwim into this inc Incineroar slot as well, right? Because T-Tar isn't Dynamax anymore, and I don't want this Incineroar alive anymore. Because of that Darkest Lariat. So if I just double up into him, especially with this, this is going to lower his attack. So I don't know if Darkest Lariat is a special attack or physical attack. He looks like a physical attacker, though. Obviously, based off of his looks. So that's good that his attack fell. Darkest Lariat. Please, that did, man, that does so much damage to me. Crunch on me, I'm for sure down. That hurts. That actually, that actually hurts really bad. I actually don't like that. Not even a little bit do I like that. I don't like this at all. But Skull is going to come out from Gastrodon. My main man's knock out the Incineroar. Thank you. Now we have Grimmsnarl and Gastrodon in a 2v1. We should be fine here. Um, so Gastrodon, I'm gonna, obviously, yeah, because, wait, this Rotom can't even touch my Gastrodon, can it? It probably only knows Hydro Pump, and then Volt Switch, Thunder Bolt, and then, what, maybe Will-O-Wisp? So, what is, T-Tar is a physical attacker, I do believe. So, if that is the case, if I'm correct with that. Let's see here, so I feel like we just want to Scald into the... Can't do that. Earth Power is not going to be effective on Rotom. Actually, I didn't want to hit the Rotom at all. What am I thinking? I want to Earth Power the T-Tar. And then I feel like I want to Reflect. Because I can't use Thunder Wave on T-Tar because he's dark. Right? He's a dark rock type. So I can't even use Thunder Wave on him at all. And I feel like Grimstone is going to go down this turn. So I'm just going to Reflect. I'm pretty sure that T-Tar is a physical attacker. Physical attacker. So I want to get the Reflect up. And what's great is my Gastrodon doesn't get buffeted by the Sandstorm. So yeah, he's going to be using the Will-O-Wisp on Gastrodon. And I avoided the attack. That is actually so amazing right there, actually. That is an incredible turn for me. That my Gastrodon isn't even taking much damage. And then the Reflect is making my Crimsnarl live. That's a big turn. I don't, I, like, I don't understand why there is just so little damage going on right now. I don't know. This doesn't seem right. The fact that that Earthquake didn't knock out my Grimmsnarl. I know I had Reflect up. Grimmsnarl is a bulky, but geez. And Earth Power did nothing to this boy. I don't really know what's going on, but I like it a lot. So now, what do we do here? I guess we just go... Yeah, this could lower their special defense slot. So we definitely just want to keep going for Earth Powers onto the T-Tar. I mean, what else is going to happen? And then I guess we can just go for... I don't even want a Light Screen. I just want to go for the Play Rough. I don't even need to light screen. I mean, this Rotom can't do anything. Oh, crap. I should have did player off into the Rotom slot. So then, actually, it doesn't matter because Will-O-Wisp would have happened first anyway. So I take that back. Gastrodon went down. 
Or not down, but he got burned. So Grimstar's living this? Unless it's a crit? Because I think he has more health now than he did before. Yeah, 21 now. He was at 34. Grimstar's just going to help me take out this T-Tar. And, dude, yeah. Actually, I'm glad I did what I did. Because that play rough just did massive damage. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we are so good right now. We are, we are definitely in the clear on this. I, yeah. We, I don't, I still don't, like, I understand there's the special defense and special attack, like, drops and raises and all that stuff. But, dang, they did, like, way more than I thought they were going to do. So, however, whatever happens to happen for this to work out, I'm okay with. And then what we're going to do is set an Earth Powering this turn. We'll Scald. That way, if the Grimmsnarl does knock out the T-Tar, then, I mean, Earth Power won't be wasted because if it goes in the Rotom slot, it obviously doesn't do anything. So that's going to go for the Grimmsnarl, actually. Good play on his part because he can't even, you know, can't touch me. And that Grimmsnarl just did a ton of damage. And then Crunch is not doing anything at all. But what is that? Oh, that lowers my defense. Okay, Crunch actually hurts a lot here. Please knock out. Okay, that does knock out. I, was, uh, I wasn't really sure if that was going to knock out or not because of how this has been going. But we should be good now to win this 1v1. I mean, clearly this Rotom can't touch me, you know? So he'll probably just be forfeiting this round. I feel like if he, I feel like if he had a move that could touch me, he would have done it by now. So he clearly just doesn't. And then I just want to go for Ice Beam does 90, but Scald does 80. But it's, Skull does Stab. So we're going to go for the Scalds. Uh, yeah, the Earth Power not going to work because this Rotom has Levitate. So, there we go. This is just going to be a game of waiting now because this guy... I mean, you know what I could have done? What I probably should have done? Like, if I was in a tournament, right? I would have just recovered, actually. I should have just recovered. Just in case he doesn't cancel it, then I can guarantee I have the more health. Just in case he does have a move that can hit me. Which, obviously, he did. That's why he had to cancel. But... Nonetheless, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by. This was a bit of a bit of a longer one. And I I mean, I enjoyed that game. What did you guys think about it? Um, the gym challenge so far, no other updates on that yet. I don't know what we're waiting for, but I'm sure whatever it is, obviously, it's important. So as soon as I get more information for that, I'll let you guys know. And also, if you guys are a fan of the Call of Duty side of things, you guys can tell on my channel. I post half Pokemon, half Call of Duty. I love both games a ton. But... This video is going to be going out on Friday, and by the time this video is going out, the new Call of Duty Battle Royale, is going to, Battle Royale Warzone is going to be out. I, I'm going to be doing a lot of live streaming of that, I think, on YouTube, not on Twitch. I think I'm just going to do it on YouTube. So go ahead and feel free to check that out. Hit subscribe, like, comment how, uh, how your day is going, and I'll see you guys later.